have the OnePlus 15 right here, and it was imported from China. So that makes sense that we cannot find the Google Play Store application on the home screen when we first get the device activated. But the folks over at OnePlus were kind enough to install the background services that Google Play applications need. We just have to enable it, log into our Google account, and then get the Play Store APK file installed. So let me show you how I did that on my device. And before we dive in, if you end up running into any issues following this guide, or you just have a question about Android in general, then please send in an email to questions at explainingandroid.com. And if enough people start sending in these emails, I can put together a weekly or monthly Q&A video for the community. The first steps to getting the Google Play Store set up and running on the Chinese version of the OnePlus 15 starts by launching the settings application. Then we can get to the menu fastest by searching for the word Google or just look for the system and update menu toward the very bottom. And then from this menu, you should see Google settings down here at the bottom as well. Now, the first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is toggle this feature on here, as that will prepare the phone to use Google Play apps by changing a few of the permissions around. Then you're gonna to wanna to tap into this Google menu here, and that will bring you to a screen that allows you to log into your Google account. But that's not all we have to do, because the Play Store application itself was still not accessible even after setting all that up. So the next step was to sideload the latest version of the APK file for the Play Store. Now, I use the website APK Mirror because I currently trust them as a source for my APK files, but you can use whichever source you trust the most. Just make sure that you're downloading the latest version. So we go to the page for the Play Store. For here, we scroll down, make sure we tap into the latest version. And then when I look for a download, I try to avoid the bundled, which you can see on this website is labeled by that tag there. My goal for this step, just to make it as easy as possible again, is to make sure I'm getting the latest version and to make it easy to install, I'm downloading the actual APK file and not the bundle. Not that the bundle is wrong, you'll just need a different application to actually sideload that. So you can see I'm downloading it. Once that finishes, we tap open from there, or you can choose to install it from your favorite file manager app of choice. Tap on install. We don't need that. You can see it has been installed. We tap done, go to our home screen, and then look in our app drawer. We should find it right there. Now, since we have already logged into our account, we don't need to log in again, but you will need to verify your purchases. Once it confirms you have logged in, you're able to view the charts, view the top sales lists, search, or do anything you would expect from the Google Play Store.